What's up, kids? Peter from Panda here. Hey, I know you guys like Timexes. I like Timexes. My very first watch ever was a blue plastic Snoopy Timex. Ever! It's amazing. That was because that was only like six months ago. Anyway, um, comes in this little uh, box here, and what I've got is a Timex Men's Camper Expedition Classic. Uh, this is an analog watch. It is number T42571. Man, I sound like I'm on QVC or something. Um, but I'm not. I'm on uh, a little YouTube channel that I just make for me and myself and I. And uh, kind of cool things about this is this is really for getting out there, living life, hitting the mountains. Um, kind of a Cordura nylon strap here. You know, I, what I like is you just get a lot for your money in, with Timex, and they're they're inexpensive. Um, how expensive is this watch? You know, this is a thirty-ish dollar watch. Let's look at this band first of all, because this is the first thing that jumps out at me. Um, it has kind of a plastic or polymer uh, top piece here, and then uh, a bar that's holding in the band, and you have this really cool two-tone but tiered. Uh, nylon band. So you've got this um, kind of dark, kind of almost olive drab, but uh, goldish color top piece. And then a wider, so you get this kind of tiered uh, effect, um, which appears to just be uh, black, but shiny. So, you know, really cool. I love that there's just a little bit, if you saw my review with my uh, ball, oh, the BMO Railroad Limited Edition watch, it's leather, but it does this kind of same effect, and I and I really dig it. Cool uh, gold stitching right around there, and it's sturdy, man. You know, good thick nylon, uh, top and bottom. The uh, the 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 retaining loop here is rubber, so it's not nylon. Moves around, and uh, the buckle keeps that nice and secure in place. So, um, first of all, that's awesome. Go on your hiking mountain trips. Let's get this plastic off here. <laughs> it always feels better without the plastic. Then you've got this, the watch itself, and the case here looks polymer, don't it? Feels polymer. Let's get rid of this out of there too. Boom. There we go. Start this bad boy up. There she goes. So it's kind of unique because it has this polymer case, uh, back, um, stainless steel backing here. It's only it's under three ounces, and the the case itself is not particularly large. Now, for all you haters out there, big watches, you're gonna love this then because it's not big. All right, so I did go ahead and grab my calipers because I couldn't find the size, but went ahead and measured it from this side to the end of these crown protection uh, um, lugs here. It is. 40 millimeters. So this isn't a big watch. Uh, and I know a lot of people don't like big watches. I love big watches. Um, but this is cool, but pr primarily one, because when you go out hiking, you want to carry as little weight as possible. The, I like that the band is nice and long here, by the way. So, so I have a fairly big uh, wrist and got plenty of, plenty of um, strap left on there and it looks good it and especially like I said when you're out camping hiking you want something light you want something small you don't want to get snagged you kind of want to go as streamlined as, as humanly possible so uh, really cool I think they call it a resin case here the, I, I think I'm sure the inner part of the case maybe is um, has some metal but this it's this gray resin um, it is really gray. It, it kind of at a glance almost looks olive drab, but it doesn't seem to really actually have any green in it. The the watch is water resistant to 50 meters, uh, so um, presumably you don't have to worry about swimming or showering with it. It has uh, a analog quartz movement, obviously. And can you hear it? I can I can definitely hear it ticking. So you know. Pretty simple construction. I mean, at this price point, you're not going to have a lot of um, a lot of super high quality components. So it kind of looks like the uh, the band up here is a little chewed up, and it's actually not chewed up, but it's like a little little glue leaking through or something like that. So it is what it is. You can set the time by pulling out here uh, to the first position and rotate it around and get your 
your flat hands in the time you like. And then let's see, I guess it looks like, and then to do the date, you just have to rotate all the way around. So if the date's not right, hopefully you're close because you're gonna be doing a little bit of winding. Now, let's get onto the dial itself. Black dial, and it's, it's, a, it's a flat black with white Arabic numerals all the way around it hour minute markers there is a the 12 o'clock pip is yellow which is carried around um, the inner numbers here for 24 hour military time and second hand as you can see there and, and highlighting the date window um, so it, it has just kind of a military tactical type of look the cool thing about this is the indiglo so I'll press it here you can see the indiglo lighting up that black uh, background that's kind of cool because typically when I see indiglo on watches, I always think of them having a white or a bright colored face. So the fact that you've got the indiglo function here on a, a black dial is pretty cool. And it's really easy. Uh, like I said, these this, the, the, the crown protectors here are going to prevent you from burning out your battery by hitting that all the time because it keeps it pretty flush. But uh, it's pretty easy to kind of just press it in. Your, 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 your skin will do the heavy lifting there. Um, that is kind of the substitute for having luminescence or super luminova or glow in the dark features on a watch because uh, the, the indiglo just lights up everything. I actually really like it. Yes, it's nice to have kind of glow in the dark features because at a glance you don't have to do anything you might see. But as you know and I know, puts glow in the dark, anything in darkness for a while and it just starts to disappear. Beauty of indiglo have it at any time. Um, the case is pretty standard. The, the lugs are curled down here. It wears pretty easily. Um, one of the things that I remember reading in the description was something about Velcro straps, and I don't know if that's uh, how, you know, you know these are, um, the, this is nylon that is used on like, uh, I mean, it, it seems like kind of backpack straps. So I don't know if that was kind of the reference there, but uh, overall, really cool adventure watch. Like I said, not super uh, expensive, 30-ish bucks. You get that trusted Timex brand name and, um, you know, something you can beat up. And I think I'll take a look in and looks good, man. I, I, I definitely dig it. So Peter Von Panda for the Timex Men's Camper Edition Classic Analog Watch. Check it out online. I'll put a link in the description. Peter Von Panda out.